there was an interesting question on the community today about uh, migration of a Jira service test from Windows Server to Linux Server. Now this question is uh, interesting because this user, I'm sorry I cannot really pronounce the name, but uh, this user was uh, talking about moving just one project. So basically what he or she wants to do um, is to move one Jira service test project from Jira instance running on uh, Windows to another Jira service test running on uh, Linux. But he was trying to use the project import feature. So in Jira there is a way of uh, restoring just one project from a backup. So what you would do, you would create a backup using the standard uh, backup feature in Jira and then you will use that backup to restore just one or maybe multiple projects um, on a different Jira instance. Now project import feature works fine, but the only condition and the only requirement is that uh, the target Jira instance should have uh, all the required configurations. For example, if you are restoring a project and that project needs some custom fields or it is uh, maybe using uh, some workflow statuses or maybe the workflows. Are, so basically any configurations that are needed by that project should be there on the target instance. And usually project import works really well when your target instance and your source instance, they are similar. And that is a bit difficult uh, to, to, to maintain in case you're not really keeping them in sync. Um, and in that case, if you have to do something similar, if you have to move just one project to another fresh Jira instance, because in this particular case, uh, it seems like he or she has installed Linux, Jira on Linux machine server. Um, so I, I guess it is moving just one project from source to target, but target is empty. So in that case, the best way and the recommended way is to simply restore the whole Jira instance. Don't use project import. In fact, use the system restore option. Install Jira on your target server and then restore everything. And once you have everything restored, then delete the unwanted projects. That will be much simpler. It depends, of course, it depends on uh, how big your Jira instance is. But when you when you do this, when you basically restore everything and when you delete the unwanted projects, it will make sure that the project that you actually need that eventually will be there on that target server, uh, it will have all the required configurations. So this is something that uh, you can also do in case you're trying to move just one project from an existing Jira instance to a new Jira software or Jira service test instance. This is also a typical use case of, uh, of splitting. So let us say if uh, there is a big company and that big company is now uh, acquired by another company. So you can do the same thing. You can simply clone the Jira instance and then delete the unwanted uh, projects. So after you delete unwanted projects, you will of course have configurations that are not needed anymore. So you can also get rid of them. And the good thing about Jira is that when you go to the admin section, you have the list of all the, I mean, if you, if you take a look at any scheme, for example, it will also tell you the associated projects. Of course you can script quite a lot of it, but, uh, but doing this splitting and deleting of unwanted projects and configurations is a simpler and a safer way. So this is all I wanted to share in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.